Um, so I'm Michelle Girac. I'm from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I'm an ocean scientist there. And what makes COP21 so important from my perspective as a scientist, again, that leads to the ocean, is finally the recognition as how important oceans are in the entire system. So from COP21 and what we've seen from observations, both satellite and in situ, is that atmospheric CO2 emissions are increasing due to human contributions that's globally warming our world. And the majority of that warming is actually absorbed and retained by the ocean. The ocean itself is 70% of our Earth's surface, compared to 30% clearly of terrestrial land. So the ocean has a significant contribution to the entire sort of maintenance of the Earth system. And again, takes up that heat. What that additional heat is actually doing to our oceans is, is warming our waters. And the consequences that are associated with that from sea ice loss in the Arctic, ice sheet loss in Greenland and Antarctica impacts on ocean acidification of marine ecosystems. We're seeing significant differences in all of these. That's all due to our human contributions. So finally getting this recognition, people wanting to do something about it, and using these observations that we have, both satellite and institute, to really make informed and educated decisions to help our system.